In chapter 3 of 1 Timothy, Paul turns in his letter to talking about what are the qualifications for bishops, for people who are going to oversee uh, not only one church, but several churches, and what are the qualifications for deacons who have a key leadership role in the church. And chapter 3, verses 1 through 13, details many of the qualifications that you are to have as a church leader, as a bishop or a deacon, and really even today we would say people in key leadership roles, these qualities are good qualities to have. And the verse of the day is chapter 3, verse 5, where Paul, after talking about what a bishop should be like, married only once, temperate, sensible, respectable, hospitable, an apt teacher, not a drunkard, not violent. Then it very goes on, but then in verse 5 he says, For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how can he take care of God's church? Um, so this is talking about uh, leadership in the church. And um, in some ways it's a little awkward for me to do this devotional because I'm a leader in the church and I'm talking about, well, these are the qualities that Paul says a leader should have. I'll let you read 1 Timothy chapter 3, 1 to 13 on your own, and you can make your own decision about um, how many of these qualities I may possess or our other pastors or our leadership council members or core ministry leaders. Uh, but they are very important, and they are ones that uh, I have tried to help guide me in who I am as a person, who I am as a husband and a father, as well as a pastor. Uh, someone shared with me after worship this last Sunday, after Greg preached uh, a wonderful sermon Sunday before last on 2 Thessalonians, uh, how proud we must be. And we feel, Jill and I, very, very blessed uh, that our sons are very fine young men who have a very strong personal faith, who are both serving with their gifts uh, to enhance the kingdom of God here in New England. We are very, very thankful. And I've tried as a pastor, especially when our children were young, uh, not to sacrifice my family on the altar of ministry. Uh, that's something that unfortunately can happen in some church leaders' families. You know, the other side of that uh, can be people who lack some of the character qualities that Paul writes about in 1 Timothy, and because of that, uh, their family life gets off track, or their leadership of the church, uh, unfortunately, ends up being sidetracked because of immorality, because of corruption, because of people stealing uh, from the church they serve, uh, things that um, unfortunately you'd like to think never happen, but sadly they do. So for all of us who serve in leadership in the church, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 through 13 is a good guide, and really all the qualities that Paul says you should find and look for in a bishop or a deacon are qualities that would be good for all of us to seek to live out and to embody. So I encourage you to look at this chapter and to manage your own household well to the glory of God.